The iPhone 16 looks really cool. I love the color options and the way the back glass shines in the light. It's a lot more stylish than the Pro models. It's really easy to use with one hand. Also, it's made of strong aluminum, so it's pretty durable. The iPhone 16 screen is the same size as the last one. It's a 6.1 inches nice OLED screen that looks great for watching videos and stuff. The screen is pretty bright, but it's not as bright as the iPhone 15. It's still easy to see in sunlight though. The iPhone 16's dual cameras are truly impressive. They're one of the best things about this phone. The ultra wide camera is particularly impressive as it allows you to take incredibly detailed close up photos. I took some photos of flowers with it and they were so sharp and clear that it felt like I was looking at them through a microscope. One thing that I really like about the iPhone 16's cameras is that they are very versatile. You can take great photos in almost any situation. Whether you're taking a portrait of a friend, a landscape photo, or a close-up shot of a flower, the iPhone 16's cameras will deliver great results. The iPhone 16's video recording is really good. It can shoot in 4K video at 60 frames per second, which is the same as most other phones in this price range. I compared it to the Galaxy S24 Plus, and I think the iPhone 16's videos look better. The colors are more vibrant and the details are sharper. The iPhone 16 also has a new feature called Audio Mix, which lets you adjust the sound after you record a video. This is a great feature for making your videos sound better. You can use it to reduce background noise or make your voice sound louder. The iPhone 16 has a new button on the side called the camera control. It works like a real camera shutter button. You can press it to take a photo or press and hold it to record a video. If you're looking for a phone with a great camera, the iPhone 16 is a great option. You won't be disappointed. The iPhone 16 has a new A18 chip that is faster than the A16 Bionic chip in the iPhone 15. It is also faster than the A17 Pro chip in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The A18 chip is very powerful and can handle anything you throw at it. The A18 chip is also a great gaming chip. It can handle even the most demanding games. The iPhone 16 also has support for hardware accelerated ray tracing, which makes games look even better. The iPhone 16 has a bigger battery than the iPhone 15, but we don't know exactly how much bigger. It lasts all day, even if you use it a lot. I tested it and it lasted over 13 hours on a single charge. The iPhone 16 can charge with a cable or wirelessly. It charges faster with a cable than with the iPhone 15. It takes about 30 minutes to charge to 57% with a 30 watt charger. The iPhone 16 also supports MagSafe wireless charging. Overall, the iPhone 16 is a great phone. It's smaller, stylish, and has some cool new features. The Pixel 8a presents a familiar Google design language with a clean aesthetic and comfortable in-hand feel. However, the device's thicker bezels compared to some competitors give it a slightly outdated look. The 6.1 inch OLED display is a visual treat, offering vibrant colors, deep blacks, and a responsive 120 Hertz refresh rate. While the display's peak brightness is adequate, it could be pushed further for outdoor visibility. Under the hood, the Tensor G3 chip delivers smooth performance for everyday tasks and most demanding applications. The AI integration enhances the user experience from quick app launches to intelligent photo editing. However, sustained high performance tasks might push the device's limits. Google's AI prowess shines through in the Pixel 8a. Features like Magic Eraser, Photo Unblur, and Real Tone elevate the photography experience. Intelligent Assistance is also on point, with features like call screening and voice commands working reliably. The Pixel 8a's camera system is a highlight. 
The 64 megapixel primary sensor captures impressive detail, dynamic range, and accurate colors. Low light photography is particularly strong thanks to Google's computational photography magic. The ultra wide lens, while serviceable, doesn't match the quality of the main sensor. Portrait mode shots are generally good, but edge detection can sometimes be inconsistent. You can record 4K video at 30 FPS. The 13 megapixel selfie camera captures great selfies with natural looking color and blur. The 4,492 milliampere battery delivers solid battery life, easily lasting a full day of moderate to heavy use. Fast charging is supported. Overall, the Google Pixel 8a offers excellent value for money with a strong focus on photography and AI. While it might not be a flagship killer, it certainly punches above its weight in the mid-range segment. If you prioritize a clean software experience, a capable camera and solid performance without breaking the bank, the Pixel 8a is definitely worth considering.